Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to do a review of a customizable planner. Today I will be reviewing the Agendio planner, which is completely customizable. I'm going to break this review up into three sections. One, I'm going to talk about the cover, then I'm going to talk about the inserts, and lastly at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to navigate on their website if you're interested. And I will have the affiliate link posted underneath this video if you're interested and taking a closer look at this product. Now, when it comes to the cover and the size of the planner you get, there are a ton of options. I happen to have gotten the hard cover, or sometimes they'll call this the wrap cover, and it is covered with the simulated leather. I think that this brown looks very rich and looks very professional. You don't have to get the binded version like I did. They also have where you can get planner inserts. So if you have a ring bound planner, you can still design your planner inserts. You can get inserts for your ring bound planner like for Filofax, Franklin Planner, Daytimer, or other binders. And you can also get inserts for notebooks as well. There is also a spiral bound option as well on the website. So as you can see, there's still spiral bound there, but with this cover, it covers up the spirals. Some people like spiral bound planners because they feel they can fold the planner back and write on it that way. I want to talk about the elastics that come with the binder if you should choose to get the elastic. Now, if you want to keep your binder closed, you can choose to get an elastic strap that you can use. So when you put this in your tote bag or your backpack, it can keep the binder closed and keep it from falling open. Now the elastic here, it almost has like a sheen to it. It looks like a quality elastic. Now I was really impressed with this elastic here. It has a pretty symbol here on it. And this black is almost like a shininess to the elastic. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Now, of course you can get this binder in different sizes. I got the eight and a half by 11, but it also comes in smaller sizes. So let me show you a close up of this cover here. So if you're like me where you've used planners a lot, after a while you start to want a little more with your planner. With a customized planner, you can get exactly what you want. As you can see, this cover is kind of like bounded to the cover here. I believe it's called wire O binding and the binding is white, but it pretty much looks like a book. This first page, I believe is pretty standard. It has the company name on it, Agendio, and you can put your contact information on here. Next, annual calendars. So this goes from October 2021 to September 2023. Now we're getting into the monthly spread. You can choose to have color in your planner or you can choose a neutral format. Some people that like to use stickers or if they're in a professional environment may not want color on their planner. And if that's the case, you can choose that. And I think it's a little bit cheaper if you do opt with a black and white version. So the amazing thing about Agendio and the thing that I think makes it stand out the most is that you you can have it pre-printed with activities and events that are important to you. For example here, I've had it to print that my Planet Fitness dues are coming out on this day. I also had it pre-printed where my paydays are automatically written in for me. This is huge because you know when you get a new planner, it can take some time to set that planner up. And when I say set the planner up, that means filling in all the things that are important to you. When I get a new planner, the first thing I do is put in my pay dates because I I need to know when I'm going to get paid so I can figure out when and who I'm going to pay when. So this way the planner kind of already comes set up with all the dates that you pre-specify. And the great thing about it too is when you create an account because you're designing your planner and you want to save your customizations to your account, the great thing is if you go in the future and order a planner, all of those activities and events that you put in stay in the system. So you never have to go back and put that in again if you're trying to print another customer planner down the road. On this monthly format, this is a month spread across two pages. There's quite a bit of space in these monthly blocks. This block is two inches across. That's a lot of space. And I could have gotten, if I wanted to, the smaller calendars put up here, but I chose not to get that. And if you want, you can choose to have your Saturdays and Sundays with color. I chose not to do that. I've started this calendar with Sunday, but you can choose a Monday start if you like. Some people are very passionate about that. Some people want planners that start with Monday. Some people are like me. They want their calendar.
calendars to start with Sunday. You can choose what you want. Over here on the side, I chose to put personal and work because I always divide my list and my task up into two sections between personal and work. If you want, you can put a special quote up here at the top of your page, or you can put the word goal or whatever you want. Now I got the blush pink for this month and notice that the colors are consistent. So you'll see here for October is blush pink and also for the tabs, it is blush pink, it matches as well. If you don't want tabs, you don't have to get tabs. I chose to have all of my monthly planner pages all at the front of my planner, but you don't have to do that. You can get your monthly pages distributed throughout and then when you go to the tab, it turns you to your monthly planner page. And I chose the colors for each month here. The paper is white and you can choose your paper weight. So if you like thicker planner paper, you can choose that. So these are my monthly planner pages. I got a day on one page format. You don't have to get this. You can get a weekly planner. You can get a weekly horizontal planner. You can get a weekly vertical planner. You can get as many subsections as you want. There are so many different options. I recommend that start to build your planner, save it and come back. Every time when I save my planner and I decided to come back to it, there was always something that I remembered that I wanted to add. So it's a good idea to walk away, sleep on it, come back before you order your planner. The great thing too about this planner is that you can start it in any month you want. You don't have to wait to the beginning of the new year to start your new planner, which is a plus. I want to use my planner right away because I got a day on one page. So this is this whole page is for Monday. This whole page is for Tuesday because I got a day on one page. The most I could get in this binder with the wrap cover was five months. However, if you choose different formats, if you get a day on two pages or if you get a weekly planner, you might be able to fit more or less months in your planner depending on what you choose. I got the day of the week and the date here. Up here I can see the current month and the future month. Here I have a block where I can write certain things in. I did not want an appointment schedule with this planner because I don't have enough appointments to fill up a whole appointment schedule that starts with a certain time and ends with a certain time. This way I feel I can just write the time my appointment or doctor's appointment is right here and that's all that I need. If you want you can get an appointment schedule section in your planner. You can choose the start time of your appointment schedule, the time interval and minutes, if you want solid lines, dash lines, how much spacing you want, and if you want the background shaded or not. Here is a different section. I plan to write things that are related to my family right here. Here is a list for where I can write in personal items and where I can write a work to do list. You can choose solid lines, you can choose dashed lines like I did, you can choose vertical lines, you can choose square check boxes, you can choose a circle check box. I chose a three of a 16th inch line spacing, but if you write bigger or you prefer more line spacing, you can make larger lines. You can also apply a shaded background like I did here, or you can choose not to. This section, I decided to just have a whole column here for notes. You don't have to do it like this. This can be subdivided if you want. The options are endless. Now with this day on one page format, I chose to get Saturday and Sunday on one page page because I typically don't have as much going on on the weekends. So as you can see here, there is a holiday written up here. It says boss's day. I can choose the holidays that I want printed on my calendar. I don't have to go with the holidays that another planner company gives me. I can choose the ones that I want to celebrate. I'm just flipping through here. So this is October, which I chose the blush color because I got my monthly pages at the beginning of the planner. My tabs are attached to my daily planner pages. So here here I am starting with November. This paper is a little thicker than the other paper because it is a tabbed page. And as you can see, the tab is green and it matches the green for the month of November that I chose. I believe this color is called moss. I want it real light muted colors. So here's how December looks. It is a beautiful blue color. This color is called Wedgwood. And then in the next month, I started over with January and I got the blush pink again because I love pink so much. If you want, you can get your whole planner one color or no color at all, which I think I mentioned before. And then in February, I got this beautiful lavender color. Now we're coming to the end or in the back of the planner. I chose to put some weekly planner pages toward the back of my planner and I wanted a completely plain palette like this. So I basically chose a format. There are four columns on each page. If I want, 
I can put the days of the week across here and have a column where I can write in additional notes. I wanted a clean slate like this and I did not actually want a weekly page for every week of the year because sometimes I plan my week out in this format and sometimes I don't. I just wanted to have the option of being able to plan weekly if I wanted to. But if I want to, I can write in the days of the week across here and I have some leftover stickers. If I want, I can put the days of the week in with those sticker kits. So I got a few of these pages and then I got a tab that's called future. So if I get an appointment that is outside of the scope of the planner I have here, I have a place where I can put that and I can plan all the way out to February 2023 if I like. So this is a monthly vertical format where the days of the week are written down the side here. I chose the color of these dots. So if I have something that I need to schedule for February 4th, I would just simply write it on this line here. I like all this open and space. I have plenty of room to write whatever I need right there. The next add-on I decided to get were these dot grid pages. So I got a few of those. Lastly, I opted to get a file folder put into the planner. This is not paper. This is a shiny material. It is tear resistant. So I have a pocket here on the front and a pocket here on the back. And that brings you to the end of this planner. If you're interested in this planner, I linked the referral link underneath this video. I must tell you, when I first went to the Agenda Yo website, I was a little intimidated because when I went to the landing page the first thing I saw was writing and at first that kind of put me off because I'm so used to landing on website pages and seeing pictures but with Agendio I didn't see that I just saw words so I had to scroll down and then I said oh okay I am on the right website here are some pictures of the products that they offer so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and create an account so that way when you make changes or you just play around with it and I would recommend that just play around with the site you don't have to order anything Thing unless you want to. In my experience, the Agendio website is the most advanced planner customization website out there. The options are almost endless. I think the Agendio company did an excellent job with this product. As a person that works in IT myself, I really appreciate all the programming that went into this to allow us to be able to customize the planners the way we want. Now with customized planners, they cost a little more because each planner is made to your specifications. They can't make these planners in bulk. They make them one at a time, hence the cost. Shipping time was okay. It took about a week from the time I placed my order to the time it was in production when they started to produce my planner. And then I had my planner in a couple of days after that. So I hope you found this video helpful. So please let me know what you think of this planner or if you've ever used Agendio, please let us know your experience in the comments because people love to hear about other people's experience because some people may be seriously considering this planner and your comments may be helpful to them. Please don't forget to like this video. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.